Thank you for the two dollars, Tyler Thompson. I appreciate you. John Anik commentary, Dana versus wife. And here we go. Oh, it's a big right hand from Mrs. White. And oh, big shot from Dana. And he follows up with more. And she's down. What a performance by Dana White. Keeping control of the situation and retaining his throne in the relationship. Um, there will be a custody battle shortly for their children. Thank you for the $2, Justin Dillon. Thank you for the $2, NKS432. Do you think Colby Sonnen will ever be the champ? Um, no. But if he fires Edwards, I might pick him. What do you think? Maybe I'll make that poll in a bit. I don't know. I might pick him versus Edwards, to be honest with you. I don't mind that. Because he... Usman gives you time to breathe on the ground because... He it's like he sits in positions and just waits. You know what I mean? Like he'll put one hook in on the back and just lay there. But Covington constantly chains together takedowns. So Edwards is going to gas a lot quicker. You know what I mean? He's going to make Edwards work a lot more. I think anyway. And Colby's got a good chin. I don't know. Maybe he could lose, but you know. Um, What am I going to do? Oh yeah, Paul. Colby's huge like Usman. No, Usman's bigger than Covington by like 10 pounds, but Covington's like a similar frame, a little bit less reach. Thank you for the two Australian dollars. Quick Cobalt, I appreciate you. You think Dana's wife was injured? She looked sloppy. No, not injured. She looked... So <laughs> dude, I get it now. Shut the fuck up, dude. She didn't come into the fucking slap fight with an injury, okay? I don't know. Dana White's wife looked a bit compromised. We're going to need a rematch. To settle it for once and for all. Thank you for the two dollars. GSP said UFC shouldn't have rounds. Thoughts? UFC shouldn't have rounds. Thoughts? Um, I get it, but I just think it's just more of a sport if they have rounds. So shut up. You know what I mean? The same fucking street beefs. Even street beefs has rounds. So just shut up, mate. You know what I mean? I like GSP, but like people just want to change too much. We have things that really need to be changed and everyone's like, we need to change everything. No, change the very small things that need to be changed and adapted and fixed. Let's not like, no more rounds, everyone. No, let's just get good judges. You know? How about like no time limit? Like, no, we have to actually structure it because the rounds is like, first of all, corner moments are really cool. I like them. But second of all, the, the sport can't function economically without rounds because they just have to play adverts in the middle of the fucking fight. The rounds are very necessary because in between majority of the rounds, they're playing adverts and making the money that sport needs to exist. So they need rounds. That's how the sport makes its money. Um, thank you for the $5, Lucas T Fitness. Are you still a believer in Aspinall potentially becoming a champion? If no, who will be the next British champ after Leon? Um, I think Aspinall's got the highest chance of becoming a champion. But Arnold Allen is closer to getting his shot because he just needs to win one fight. Whereas Aspinall's going to need to win about three or two at least against the right opponents. Probably three with the log jam that's in the heavyweight division right now. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for the $5, dude. I appreciate your $5. A decimation. Obliteration of a dossier. Thank you for the two Canadian dollars and 79 cents. 10-7 MMA. Who do you see winning Bo Nickel or Chimeyev? Thoughts? Uh, Chimeyev gets out wrestled early on, but eventually finds his way into a better position to where he can win it on the feet between the two of them when they're a little bit more tired. Um, I just think overall it will turn into more of an MMA fight than a wrestling match. Um, but I do think that Bo Nickel would like win the first round in like positional control. But eventually Chimeyev would be kneeing him to the body in the middle of the clinch and you know, landing little punches in the clinch and slowing down Bo Nickel enough to where he can implement his own game. So I'd probably go for something like a Chimeyev rear naked choke after he wins an eventual scramble in the second after Bo Nickel starts slowing down. Thank you for the two Canadian dollars. No one in particular. McGregor versus Masvidal. Who wins? How? Pay-per-view numbers. Uh, McGregor does well early, drops Masvidal in the first round, but Masvidal survives it and comes back in the second or third to win by ground and pound TKO or submission at some point on the ground. More likely ground and pound TKO for Masvidal in the second or third. Um, who wins and how? That's what I've answered. Um, Pay-per-view numbers, 1.5 mil. 
1.5 million pay-per-view sales, especially if they push each other at the face-off and has, have a good press conference, for sure. Thank you for the $5, Father Paprika. I appreciate your $5, good sir. Might have missed you talking about this, but do you see Hamza ever becoming a champ in welterweight, middleweight, even light heavyweight? Cheers. Yes, he'll be a champion in one of those divisions before his career is over 100%, I reckon. Well, 95%. 95% definitely thank you for the five dollars dude if it don't happen at welterweight it will happen at middleweight because they're better matchups for him anyway especially at the top in Pereira and Adesanya um thank you for the taint Danish Krona but MMA till impression why well, he needs to kill his daughters um I've lost another fate it's time to chuck another daughter into the wood chipper again but till it's nothing to do with him no meat so I'm gonna have to fucking leave him in the fridge for an hour be Keelan. Let's say Usman wins the rematch and Izzy loses his. How does Usman do at middleweight if he bulks a little? <sighs> I think Usman does well at middleweight if he bulks up a little. Um, but I still think he'd lose because he's just not big enough. And I don't think he'd have a power at, uh, at middleweight either. No. I think they just out-tough him, out-hustle him up there. But yeah, he could beat some of them. Like he probably beat Strickland in a rematch. Thank you for the $10, dude. Uh, thank you for the $20, Josh Tucker. I appreciate your $20, good sir. Um, impression of Masvidal pleading his case to why he deserves a third title shot. The UFC have some real American values, man. The UFC have some real degenerate values, man. I sucker punch Kobe. I beat him up. I deserve the shot, man. Thank you for the $20, dude. I really appreciate you. Uh, jail has some real American values, man. The criminal justice system has some real American values. I'm just going from Miami, man. I'm just a fucking degenerate dad from Miami, man. Thank you for the $5, Josh Tucker. PSA Whitaker's not overrated. One of the few masters of basic MMA fundamentals and basic combos. Not flashy, but can't deny he's arguably the best or second. Yeah, he's not overrated at all. People on full violence hate Whitaker and Volkanovsky. Uh, like anything he posts about Whitaker, everyone's like, this dude's so overrated. Why is everyone talking about Whitaker? Like, it's crazy. Wicker's him. Wicker's not overrated, dude. You don't do that to Vittori, Gastelum, Cannoneer, Till. Um, who else did he beat recently? There was another name in there that I can't quite remember. Oh, it was going to be Paulo Costa, right? Yeah, he's beating the who's who. And one more. There's one more. I can't remember. Oh, the rematch with Adesanya. Yeah. <sighs> I'm talking about recently. Of course, I remember the names before, like Brunson, uh, Romero twice, Jack Array, even though the second Romero fight should have been a draw. Um, he beat Uriah Hall. He beat Rafael Nadal, which is an underrated, not Rafael Nadal. No, Rafael Nadal. Yeah, very underrated win. Um, there's another one as well. Can't remember it, yeah. Brad Tavares. Very much indeed. Thank you for the $2. The big G prime Whitaker versus prime silver. Um, prime Whitaker, easy. Don't even ask questions like that. Thank you for the $2, dude. Whitaker is still ain't in his prime. I, I, I chat. Yes or no. Whitaker has either just started his prime or he's not even reached it yet. Thank you for the $2 sound writer, Tom Aspinall hype train impression. Uh, thank you for the $2, dude. Appreciate you. Just started. I think he's just hit his prime. Like he's just hit his prime recently. In the Adesanya rematch to the uh, Vittori performance, I think he's just hit his prime. And, and it makes sense age-wise as well, because I think he's only 31, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> I wish he was fighting in February, man. Wish he was fighting in February. 32. He's just turned 32. In December. Fuck Paulo Costa, man. Fucking Paulo Costa, dude. Fuck you. For fuck's sake, man. How annoying. Bitch. Uh, thank you for the $2 sound writer. Tom Aspinall hype train impression. I don't want to be some kind of a one-legged hype train from the UK. I'm trying to really heal out here and learn and... You know, get back in cage and, and dominate these guys, these tough guys. Too much secret juice took to meme too far. True. True. 
I'm not trying to be some kind of uh, hype train, Paddy, from the UK. I'm trying to really learn out here and become a real contender. Thank you for the $1. I appreciate you go MMA. Tom sounds like a wise old man. He does. Tom Aspinall, someone said this a comment a while ago. He sounds like one of those NPCs in like a video game about medieval times that gives you a quest. Hey, over here. I've got, I've lost a nice portion. Could you find it for me? You know what I mean? He's got that gen, general NPC from Skyrim or The Witcher. You know what I mean? Well, I am. Now, if you can find me 10 sticks of ancients, I'll give you a trade of gold. Thank you for the $2. I appreciate you. Diamond girl. Diablo. Yeah, Diablo. Yeah. These ghouls are encroaching on our lands, and I'm not going to stand for it any longer. Could you help us out in some way, fellow traveler? Thank you for the $2, Diamond Guh. Thank you for the $2, Chael Son and Confusion CTE intro impression. Marvin Vittori. I don't know what to do with it, dude. Um, where does Luke Rockhold fit into this? He's not retired. Thank you for the $2. Appreciate you. <laughs> Kevin Lee can still be champ. Thank you for the five Australian dollars, Bob's Burgers. If Rob becomes champ, I think he beats Izzy on the third fight. I could see Rob being champ for a long time. I think he beats Izzy in the third fight as well. I think he's got way more to improve on. Thank you for the five Australian dollars. But I think a big deal for Whitaker is to be more active than Israel Desanya going into their third fight. And also... Um, I think he's going to be more confident going into their third fight than he was going into their second, where he was a bit hesitant in the first round because he got KO'd in the first one. But now he feels like he won the second one. He's going to have a much stronger belief that he can win it. So it's going to make him a little bit more comfortable from the get-go. Thank you for the five Australian dollars, dude. Appreciate the five Australian dollars. Aspinall Skyrim quote. Um, Harrow to the knee, please. You know what? I used to be a hyped up traveler like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee and it made me realize that I need to take my time and, and get back out there over time. But for now, I'm just going to guard White Run, and hopefully the Yarl will let me go out on adventures in future. Thank you for the two Australian dollars, dude. Thank you for the two dollars, uh, Daxter. Anthony Smith versus Jake Paul in a four round boxing. <sighs> Jake Paul at this point, I think he body shot finishes him. Anthony Smith is so soft to the body, he's pathetic genetically. Thank you for the free Australian dollars. Chael pronounces Pereira, Piera, and it pisses me a lot. Prokayev, Yuri Prokayev. It's Prohaska Chael. Prowakachev. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, Nicholas Rimmer. Thank you for the five months of membership, J Love the Flash. Paddy Pimlet defending Dana White's actions impression. Mate, I'd have slapped her out a lot. I'd have slapped a fucking hard of meat. I'd have fucking triangled the meat. Pulled guard, fucking subbed her, broke her arm in a fucking arm bar, lad. Let him do it. That's what I say. Fuck Ariel. Thank you for the eight Australian dollars, dude. Thank you for the two dollars. Till shooter takedown on Hamza and Jim impression. Mate, just sub me, mate. I'm done. Just guillotine me, mate. I'm fucking quitting, mate. I'm a fucking bitch. Thank you for the two dollars, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for the two dollars barbecue Kermit free Snoop Shrek. I, I have. He's unbanned by now. Um, but yeah, there's a video out on my channel right now. And that video is, uh, Dana 10 eights, his wife with a slap Perry versus Cerrone two Brown versus Madalena is Maggie Love retires. I need to put MMA news reaction in the fucking title. Am I mong? Am I some kind of fucking mong or what? There we go. Right. Go check it out. On the channel right now, there's a video there of me breaking down the whole Dana White situation. Uh, Dana White 10 eights his wife with a slap. Parry versus Cerrone 2. Breakdown. Um, Brown versus Madalena. MMA News reaction. Go check out the video on the channel right now. Members go to the community tab. Non-members, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully way earlier for a much longer time because I really appreciate all the donations and I need to start doing more streams throughout the day so it's not all condensed into one moment, you know? If I do more streams, the donos will be more sporadic and spread out, I reckon. That's my mindset anyway. Toodle Pip, see you later. Thank you for watching. Members, community uh, tab, 
non-members, shut up, Snoop Shrek. You're lucky you exist in the chat right now. Oh, don't make me rethink my ban. Um, <laughs> members community tab, non-members. Go check out the video on the channel right now. And my second channel video as well, where I break down the footage of the slap. See you later. Goodbye.